everybody. Hello, hello. It is Kathy, and I love to be selling. Come on in, sellers. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know how your weather is, how everything is going today. I am here in New York City, and it was rainy, rainy, rainy today, <laughs> but not too cold. So very, very nice. So let me know how you're doing. And if you hear any honking or anything like that, hey, this is New York City. Um, let me introduce myself. I am Kathy Terrell. I'm a top rated seller on eBay. I'm selling on eBay for over 12 years. I started small, just selling things from around my home and I have scaled my business. I'm a successful seller. I'm an eBay sales consultant and social media coach. I have the great honor to speak sometimes with eBay teams around the country. And I do speak at various e-commerce conferences. I've also been on TV as a small business expert on Fox News. I've also appeared on New York One. And you might know me, I used to sell on QVC years ago. I was on QVC as a product presenter for over six years. I also have over 15 years of brick and mortar experience in New York City stores. So what that means for you is I know a lot about eBay. I know a lot about retail and I know about selling. So that's what I do is I take all that experience, all of my retail knowledge, my QVC selling experience, my eBay selling experience, and I blend it and I help you get great results with your eBay listings and eBay sales. My specialty is eBay search. I love to just dig in and go, you know, how can I make my listing better? How can I help my clients? How can I help my sellers do better in eBay search? Because when you do better in eBay search, you get more sales. And sometimes just a little tweak, just a little change can make all the difference to bump you up in search, get more eyeballs and get sales. So that's what I'm going to talk about today is something that is often overlooked. Sellers neglect. They don't realize that it can help them in search. So we're going to talk about that. And what got me thinking about this was I was actually thinking about my grandson um, who is now five years old. But when he was younger, you know, when the kids are really, really, really little, um, if you have children or grandkids or nieces or nephews, you'll know this, is when they're really, really little, how much they love to play peekaboo, right? It's like peekaboo, there's the baby, peekaboo, right? And if you think about it, your hands are covering your face and then you take your hands away. And what do I see? I see your hair. I see your eyes, I see your nose, I see your mouth, right? Peekaboo. And the thing with eBay is I don't want my listing to be playing peekaboo with eBay. I want my listing to be found. I want eBay search to know the hair, the eyebrows, the eyes, the, nose, the different parts of my listing. I want eBay search to recognize it so that I rank well in search. Now, what you may not know is mobile shopping is big. We, you probably do know that, or if you know, mobile shopping is big. And by mobile, I mean people coming in and looking at listings on phones and on tablets. I've heard it referenced as being touched by mobile. And what that means is the shopper not purchase on mobile. They might go home and purchase on a computer or go to their office, but they will look at the item. And I've got my phone here. They will look at the item on the phone or on a tablet. They will browse, they will bookmark, they will screenshot and then purchase later. The reason I bring this up, it's going to be noisy here. The reason I bring this up is how you look on mobile is very, very getting customer attention, customer clicks, and sales. So it's worth it to look your list on mobile, both on a phone and on a tablet to see how you appear. And if you haven't looked at a listing on mobile, let me tell you, you're gonna see the picture, you're gonna see the title, then you're gonna see what's called item condition, whether the item is new, used, refurb, and you will see the price and you will see the shipping, whether it's free or whether it's paid and what the fee is if it's paid. And then, and this is what's so interesting about mobile. And again, remember 
over 60% of shoppers are looking at your item on a phone or on a tablet. So right underneath the shipping, free return shows if you are doing free returns. Otherwise, nothing shows, okay? Now, if you click on the item, you will see returns, free returns. And if you're on a desktop, you will see various return options seller might be offering, okay? So if you're doing 30-day paid buyer pays return, that will show. If it's free returns, it'll show. But the thing I had to point out was for mobile shoppers, free return shows in the flow when I'm doing a search on the phone and I'm just scrolling through. I'm scrolling through a bunch of items. I see free returns. Now, why do I care about that as a seller? I will tell you. eBay's default search, eBay search on mobile. So if I log into a phone or a tablet, I do a search on eBay, let's say for coach purses or Adidas sneakers or um, a Tonka truck. The default search, the search that eBay goes to is best match. So how I rank best is impact me as far as getting me shoppers on mobile. And again, over 60% of people are shopping on mobile or they're touching that the game is touched by mobile. So I'm going to do well on mobile. If I offer a return, that shows on the listing. It's a little something extra. It's that my listing has that my competitor doesn't have. And this is why I'm bringing it up. Because I want a little edge. My listing's got a little extra something. My listing, my listing has something that other people aren't offering. So that it makes it more interesting and more likely to get stopped. It's called Thumbstoppable when they're scrolling, 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 and then stopping. And eBay notices if people are scrolling, 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 stopping. In relevancy, oh, they're always looking at Cat's coach purse. She's getting a lot of clicks. Her purse must be interesting, and it helped me rank the free return. Your return policy is part of your ranking in eBay search. Yes, it's relevancy. Like, are they looking for a coach purse? If they're sneakers, they're not going to be a coach purse. But if they're looking for a coach purse, the quality of my pictures, the time, but your return policy, part of the criteria, eBay search. Did you know that? Free returns shows in, it's on my item. Now, I am not saying that you need to do free returns. As a seller, if you're not aware of this, you have choices and you pick different return policies for different items, for different categories. You can do 30 buyer pace, 30 day free return, 60 day buyer pace return, 60 day free return. You can also do no returns. Now, realize with no returns now in certain categories, something like coins or currency, I totally understand. But you do want to really seriously consider if you're doing no returns is the fact that that will discourage buyers and you will lose sales. Offering a return policy helps build buyer confidence. Again, not that a buyer is looking to return an item. They just want to know that if there's any issue, if they don't like it, if it's not what they thought, it's not going to be a problem returning it. Free returns, which again helps me to stand out on mobile. Because my return policy is part of the best match criteria, is part of eBay search. If I'm in a competitive category, let's say I'm selling coach purses or data sneakers or Tonka trucks, there are going to be other sellers selling very similar, if not the same item. If everybody is offering 30 day buy pays return, and I am one of the few sellers offering free returns, I stand out to buyers. I will also show in the free return filter shoppers use that. Now, again, I'm not saying you have to do returns on your coach purses. What I encourage you to do is check what works for you. Look at your returns. Do you get a lot of returns on purses? or men's clothing, 
or kids' toys or video games? Are there categories where you have very few or no returns? Those are the perfect categories to do free returns. And even in categories where you might have more returns, you've got to look at what the cost advantage is. is okay, okay, I'm going to have to eat it on a certain amount of shipping on these returns. But because this category is so competitive and I want edge and I want to stand out to the shoppers, I can build it into the price. I can build it into my business where I'm still making money because I want you to make money and all free returns. Balance the two. If you have no returns in the category, absolutely. I have several categories like that. And I work with clients and they have no returns in certain categories. Absolutely do free returns and get that search benefit. That's what I'm after. I want to stand out in eBay search. I want to be more attractive to my buyer. And I want to rank well and best match. And eBay tells me that my return policy is part of the criteria. Again, when super, super competitive categories, every little edge, every little bump that you can get is well worth. So analyze your categories, your returns, and then the choice that works best for you, knowing that a more advantageous return policy is going to give you a little bump in search. Any kind of bump in search you can get is good. The further up you are, the more likely you are to get eyeballs. The more eyeballs from customers you get, the more sales you're going to get. And that's what I'm after, after helping you to get more sales. So you don't want your listings going peekaboo. <laughs> you want your listings visible. You want your listings attractive. And you want to use as many parts of your listing as you can that optimize you for search. And your turn policy is one of them. So take a look at that. And again, I know some people might be a little nervous going, oh, I've never done free returns. Try it. Test it. Test. You could either put the whole category in or perhaps split test it. Take half of your women's clothing and put it in and half you don't. Put half of your kids' toys in free returns half you don't, and see what works. Test it for 30 days, 60 days. Look at the sales increase and note if you see an increase in returns or if it stays the same. Great. And if it does bump bump, you can immediately change it. You just go in and edit, but it is worth it to test it to get the advantage in search. Again, the better you rank in search, the higher up you are in search, the more it is going to help you and your eBay sales. And I'm all about helping your eBay sales. Okay. So take a look at free returns, take a look at whatever the competition's doing. If they're doing 30 day buyer pays to returns, try 60 day. You want to walk up petition to rank better in search. You got it. Great. I'm Kathy and I love to be selling. Bye-bye.